What is going on guys and welcome to another episode of the Crystal Palace career mode. Starting on this episode we have some basic uh, cup games against Cardiff, I mean cup games, cup game against Cardiff. I do simulate as I do not play the cup games unless it is the European or if I reach quite a high stage in the tournament. And you'll see the team I'm going with, I'm playing a fairly uh, cup based team. Still with a lot of decent players in playing Bamford up front and we start off in the worst way possible. We go 1-0 down, which was a very bad way to start the game. Which and then Sacco is able to pull a goal back for us. It's one each, and I'm thinking at this point we can certainly go on and pick up the win and move on to the next round. But things always seem to go badly when you are the away team in a simulated game. As appears here when Abiomi puts Cardiff 2-1 up. We've got 10 minutes left. It looks like we aren't gonna get anything out of the game, we are going to go out, yes we are, we are lost the game, 2-1 to Cardiff, very disappointing, but in the end of the day it means there's less fixtures, so we can focus on the league now as we are not playing in any other competition. So moving on into the first league game of the episode, I have several of the match, I think I have four in total. Before we do, we do have a little bit of a transfer thing. I do decline this offer and reject all future offers. It was a very, very high offer from Newcastle for Batshuayi, but I kept my faith in him and I keep moving forward. I try and look for Rabio as I do like him, but he has recently transferred to Borussia Dortmund, so the chances of me being able to pick him up are quite slim. In fact, pretty much impossible at this point. So I do actually change targets. I go for Yuri Tiliamans, the very, very good youngster who has a very high potential from Angelect. And I inquire straight away before going into this game up against Southampton, which is at home. So as you can see, so I'm pretty much hoping for three points out of this game. We're going to take a look at the league table before we actually go into this game to see how we are doing at this point. Obviously, it hasn't changed much from this last episode. But you'll see that we are currently in fifth. We are only two points behind third and only four points behind second. And with a game in hand as well. So I thought, felt pretty confident. And time to go on the attack. I managed to break away with Balassi, giving the ball to Batshuayi. He plays a lovely ball into Ali. He plays a lovely ball back to Batshuayi. Batshuayi is really good at running down the wing, but he's just not very good at finishing right now. He's able to pick out a really good ball through to Bakary Sacco, who just slots it home. A great counter attack. Great move from. Uh, Deli Ali, Batshuayi and Bakui Sako, meaning that we go 1-0 up against a very strong Southampton team who always seem to have a few defensive frailties on the break in the game. Defenders aren't the fastest, meanwhile I have a lot of pace going forward so whenever we counter I always have a good chance of scoring a goal. I'm hoping one time I will get Batshuayi on the end of a ball like that so he can try and end his goal drive. I think it's been over 10 games now since he scored and whilst he does still play recent reasonably well he isn't picking up the goals, which is the reason why I signed him. We do win the game 1-0. Very, very good three points for us. Very good progress in the league, considering how the season has been going recently. I do send out Chung Yong here on a short-term loan to Sunderland, as Jonathan Williams is now back from his loan spell. So I've got him available, and he's on the bench in this game against Manchester City, away at the Etihad Stadium. Very tough place to go in real life and a very tough place to go in the game. Man City are a very good team. As you can see here, Yaya Torre being able to just slot it in the near post, completely unmarked, poor defending from me. And in the end of the day, it actually reverse rolls Aguero feeding in you Torre rather than Torre feeding Aguero, which was very good. Now, unfortunately for me, it did come against me. And we are 1-0 down at the Etihad and I spent the majority of the game on the attack actually. Man City went defensive all of a sudden for some reason. But unfortunately, despite all my pressure, I couldn't really muster much of a shot. And I do lose the game 1-0. I was kind of okay with it as it is Man City. You know, it's kind of like, oh, if I lose the game, it's going to be this one. I do sign up Telia Mans here after much, much negotiation going straight into the game against Chelsea. Though I did forget to put Telia Mans on the bench or even in the starting lineup, so he doesn't feature in this game. However, going against Chelsea, you know, in real life they're not doing too great. You know, obviously just sacking Mourinho and obviously losing game after game. But in, in obviously in the game they are top of the league right now, and they have a chance of going six points clear of second. I have a chance of actually closing the gap on them to just. A simple two points uh, or five points it was one two and unfortunately for me Mikel gets fed through here of all players to slot in and give Chelsea a 1-0 lead very poor defending for me the ball played through is pitch perfect it's brilliant accuracy on the pass and unfortunately for me I am 1-0 down against a very strong Chelsea 
team with very, very good defenders. And obviously with players like Matic and Ramirez in front of them. They cannot be broken down easily. Even Mikel is good on this game. Great physical player who you just can't get past. And unfortunately for me, I did actually go on to lose that game. Uh, no, I didn't actually. No, I didn't. What am I talking about? I managed to equalise here with uh, Balassi here. Feeds it through, takes a shot. And it is put in for an own goal. Which is a very poor... I don't know what I was thinking me losing the game. I do pick up an equaliser. I've played so much FIFA right now recently that I literally cannot remember what... Uh, I did in certain games like this a bit of a dirt moment right there but I do get an equaliser bit of a luck charm. that was actually literally my only that was actually a shot across by the way I didn't actually muster a shot in that game apparently but I do manage to pick up a point against Chelsea I totally forgot that I actually equalised in this game I generally thought I'd lost but going into this game against Aston Villa a game I felt I had to win let's get over all that bad commentary in the last game and let's pick up three points against a very average Aston Villa side surely yeah they get a corner I can break away here it's pretty easy brilliant save there all of a sudden Kieran Clark gets on the ball right at the edge of the box and he just blasts it and it goes right into the top corner a centre back scores a goal which a striker would be proud of a very very unlucky break for me and I was not very happy about this goal conceding seeing as how uh, it was a centre-back scoring it, and he was completely unmarked. He was literally had open space. That is like Wolves defending right now, and I am planning on doing another video about Wolves right now because I really need to to vent my frustrations with them. But back to the career mode episode. Great goal for Kieran Clark. I mean, I can't doubt that. It's a brilliant finish. Keepers never going near it. And then I do something really stupid. I go for a slide tackle, and I get a red card. And of all players we sent off right now, it was my striker. So Batshuayi was sent off at this point. Very, very unlucky for me. And also very unlucky for the team. Do we have a striker to go for? So I have to change up the system. The free kick they get from that is put away by Bakuna. It goes off the post, off my goalkeeper, into the back of the net. And it is actually given as an own goal. Very unlucky break for me there. I couldn't believe my luck at that point. I think I ended up just taking a break for like 10 minutes because I was so frustrated. I came back, but I couldn't get any goals. We lost 2-0. Poor episode, in my opinion. Only four points from four games. We are still in fifth, so it is still going decently well for us. But the gap between us and the teams below us has been lowered massively. And it's not looking too great at the moment in terms of progression because we're not picking up wins. And we're not scoring goals either. We're having a really lack of goals right now. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. It's been... A pretty average one in terms of results. But I hope if you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment telling me any advice you want me to give me on the series. And subscribe if you are new to my channel and you want to see some more of the Chris Pice career mode. And I will see you all in another video.